myself, uh, I played guitar since I was a little kid. Uh, first time I saw the Beatles on television, I was five years old. John Lennon hit that opening chord. I was hooked right there. I had a guitar hero. Next morning, I was standing out on my porch, strumming an old dirty broom and singing, It's been a hard day's night, and I've been working like a dog. All the neighborhood girls were screaming. Even back then, I was in it for the pussy. <laughs> time I was 13, I was the local guitar hero at my junior high school. Getting chicks that were way out of my league. Ninth grade girls with boobies. <laughs> girls that usually dated guys that had actually gone through puberty. Like most high school kids, I drank a little. Smoked a little pot. One time I was even convinced to drop acid and go to Disneyland. For those of you who have never dropped acid and gone to Disneyland, may I congratulate you on being much smarter than me. If you're wondering what that experience was like, of midgets just sing the same song. <laughs> By the time I was 16, my playing got a little more sophisticated. More importantly, I discovered sex. Unfortunately, not always with another person. The 70s came and I started doing studio work with people like Frank Zappa, Temptations, Tower of Power, and Rose Royce. Working at the car wash, yeah. I love playing R&B music and it came in handy because my next job was writing music for movies. Ironically, movies that I was too young to see myself. Sunset Strip in Hollywood, had on my nylon parachute pants with 300 zippered pockets, and an achy breaky mullet that would have made Joe Dirt proud. I noticed her immediately, mostly because she was the only person in the room with bigger hair than me. She was wearing red spandex and walking like an Egyptian when she danced up to the stage and we began a mating ritual that can only be described as two peacocks drawn together by their enormous trailer park plumage. I always kept a couple of songs in reserve for just such an occasion. I called it my pickup medley. I looked deep into her eyes and I said, well, I guess it would be nice if I could touch your body. You know not everybody has got a body like you. I want to know what love is. I want you to show me. Pour some sugar on me. In the name of love, pour some sugar on me. We divorced a short time later. <laughs> when we realized the only thing we had in common was the moose that allowed our hair to defy gravity. It was nobody's fault, really. We were just incompatible. She was a morning person. I like screwing other women. 
Nobody to blame, just one another's thing. And out of a less than perfect marriage came two beautiful boys. that I was married to my second wife at the time. <laughs> Not my fault. If you could have seen this girl, you'd know why. She had big brown eyes, long legs. She was six pounds, four ounces of perfection. I just heard you used to Seems my life is gone. Change with arms wide open under the sunlight. Welcome to this place. I show you everything with arms wide open. So there I was, pushing 40 with a baby daughter and two teenage boys at home. My only musical options were grunge or rap. Don't get me wrong, there's some great grunge and rap tunes. Great grunge tunes, anyway. Point is, there was no place in the 90s for a guitar hero. At least not one in his late 30s with a swollen prostate. <laughs> so I decided to put my guitar down for good. Or so I thought, until... <laughs> A couple of years ago, my son and a few of his friends from high school started a little band called Avenged Sevenfold. And maybe you've heard of these boys. They're all over MTV. They've got gold records. I could have had gold records. I was busy raising kids. Kids that would grow up and touch all the dreams that were just beyond my reach. Kids that won't let me forget. Honestly, the boys are very good to me. The band even lets me play guitar on their CDs. And though I hate to admit it, it's an honor and a thrill to be able to play on a gold record with your own son. Now when I see him up on the stage, he's my guitar hero. I watch him up there shredding a solo for 10,000 screaming fans. And I think to myself, I could do that. 